That's fine. Let's take a look at the, the uh, stagecoach. Um, I'm not in such a big hurry to get another Crusader right away. I'm curious about Grave Robbers. I didn't. I wasn't a fan of them before, but I wonder if they changed their skills because I think a lot of people didn't really use them. Let's see. Melee attack with crit. Lunge moves you forward too with the bonus with bonus damage and bonus crit. Downside is it moves you forward too in the first place. Yeah, a lot of people didn't like grave robbers because they didn't seem to have very powerful skills in general, and they also messed with your party composition constantly, so it was hard to figure out what they were for. Flashing daggers, an AoE of the middle. Let's see. Oh, your enemy has minus 20 bleed resistance, apparently, even though it's not a bleed skill, so it reduces the enemy's bleed resistance for uh, against other bleeds, I guess. Reduce damage, but it's an AoE. So it's actually minus 33 is actually a low damage reduction for an AoE. Although I think the problem with this character is I think Grave Robbers kind of had low damage too. Shadow Fade. Um moves you back one space. Plus 20 to dodge. This one gives you crit and yeah, people you kind of would do lunge and then shadow fades back and forth to try to keep your character moving. But it would kind of make a mess of things. Thrown dagger, attack anyone besides the front person while you're not in the front. Bonus accuracy and damage. You definitely get a, definitely get a sense the the game added so many characters that it was hard to figure out what to do with some of them. Poison darts. Blight three points for three rounds at rank one. There you go. A strong a strong poison's definitely handy and reduced blight resistance, so you can just start spamming it everywhere potentially. Toxin trickery. Cure Blight and Bleed. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's only a self skill, though. But uh, you, you uh, give yourself 10 dodge, cure your Blight or Bleed, and get 5 speed. Interesting. Should I... Let's see, Winded and Anemic. Reduced speed at low health. Minus Bleed resist Resistance. Uh, bonus... Ooh. Warren's bonuses. Those are good things. Let's give this character a shot. Worst case scenario is they die, and maybe I never pick it up. Maybe I never pick up the class again. Eye. All right. Gold gleams like a dagger's point. Hello. Because the the character feels like such a risk. Let's out of the out of list on the name of the out of the uh, list of names on that I have. Fate seems like a decent name to give the uh, character that I think might just die, <laughs> and jumps around like a crazy person and stuff. The name seems fitful, fitting enough. I don't think I want... I already have two Crusaders, don't I? Oh, wait, no, I don't. I only have one Crusader. Right, I have a Crusader and a Bounty Hunter. Yeah, having a second Crusader is reasonable. Let's see here. Ah! Uh, maybe not this early. Because I already have two... I have two front row characters and... and Jordy can kind of function as a front row character. It's gonna, I'm gonna have some composition problems with my overall group if I if I keep adding more like that. Not yet. Not not a new crusader quite yet. All right. So out of these skills, which are the specific ones I'd like to have on this kind of character? So they currently have the melee character, which which gives a crit mod. Lunge seems like a, d a decent skill to have, and shadow fade. Two skills that they frustratingly didn't start with. Toxin Trickery. I can probably avoid getting that one right away. Alright, so... Throne Dagger. Flashing Daggers. Let's just unselect them all real quick. Alright, so out of these ones, I want Lunge. I want Shadow Fade. I want Poison Darts. My options are Throne Dagger. For a crit mod. And a self buff. Uh, flashing daggers for an AOE, albeit maybe a bit situational, and picked it. You know, I'm going with thrown dagger out of these options, I think. That seems reasonable. Do I have new items to look at? Hello. Grave robber only. Hello, coincidences. Bonus speed and bonus move resist, no downsides, apparently. Well, that's easy cho choice. Bonus accuracy for ranged skills, but reduced dodge. Accuracy for ranged skills. Aren't you ranged only, basically? Throw one of those over there. That'll help you with your at your reduced accuracy mod that I don't like you having. Let's see. Leper only. 
Bonus to accuracy, crit, and stress damage. I should have. I think I had that before we started that mission, so that was my mistake. These are both handmaster items. Yeah. Accuracy, crit, and stress damage. There we go. That's plenty handy. Sort by level. Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw. Oop, not sanitarium. Let's go ahead and throw Shadow Scythe back in here. We need to fill that. We need to heal that meter more before I, I send him into a mission. I don't like sending people in that are above 50%. Let's see. I think I'm going to give this party a shot. Probably switching voice for fate for the next run. Seems reasonable. Let's see. I can't upgrade these people's gear. Oh, wait. I need to buy the rank in the first place. Um, weapon smithing is turns. Armor smithing is health. Prioritize armor smithing because it's health bars. The metal. We are raising an army. There we go. Uh, yes, chat, I'm reading chat, by the way. Let's see, Zach Hadron. Give you guys some sweet health bonuses real quick. You can't be upgraded yet. I think I'm subbing out Fate for Voice for this particular run, keeping Jordy in. And we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so... Click? Nope. Get out of here. Yeah, I generally keep up with the, the uh, live stream chat. It's just I don't necessarily greet everybody as they come in because that, that mostly comes across as annoying for the people watching the videos afterwards. So we haven't gotten to the Warrens yet. Let's go exploring. I'm sure we'll be fine. Or like hell of dead. Like so dead. So dead. <laughs> um, I thought I brought too much food last time, but clearly we used... We got hungry three times, so I guess that was not as crazy as it originally seemed. Some bleed stuff. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, I, I need to start bringing holy water. I found before that holy water seemed pretty helpful for a lot of situational environment stuff, but I guess... I guess I didn't necessarily... Uh, I, I don't necessarily remember the spreadsheet at that well at this point. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Yeah, chat, uh, armor gives you dodge and hit point bonuses. Basically, your damage, crit, and speed are based on your weapon, and your dodge and hit points are based on your armor. So as you get more armor, uh, you generally live longer and better. It's That's the hardest thing about having brand new characters is that they're so squishy compared to literally any other version of that character. Oh, look, books. Fuck books. Hate books. Books are so not good. <laughs> Books are not a good thing to have in your life. Hey, we. That's fun. <laughs> I will have to continually reset my party after every match to make sure the grave robber is in a place where she can actually do the lunge in the first place. Hey, you. I don't know why I'm wasting part time trying to stun these guys. Actually, they they die so quickly. I should have really just been topping somebody off. There we go. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh no! It's her obsession with alcohol, and it's, that, that thing's covered in skulls, so it's a terrible idea. But oh, moonshine! I I couldn't read that. That was a very lot. That was a lot of text to just flash on the screen very briefly. It says something bad about moonshine. Basically, I don't have. Yeah, I mean, just that's the wrong thing for toxin or whatever. I don't think the herbs help. I think, I, yeah, I need antitoxin for that situation. So you're just gonna have to tough it out or something. Or die, I don't know. Someone also get to have a name. <laughs> hey. Hey. Friends. Ooh, it's a wretch. Those guys are awful. Their Fixed. <laughs> the wretches are one of those characters that likes to constantly mess with your stress meter. So I'm happy to get rid of one of them right away. Maybe get their top damage dealer to not get a, a turn for a bit while I work on this. There we go. Give them no quarter. Just wailing away for a little bit. Ah, uh, I don't need to. I don't really need to purge enemy corpses right now. I need damage. There we go. So he—that's his turn that he missed. But he's gonna keep getting turns after that. 
does this do any damage? Damage mod, yeah, it, it does no damage. Just because, just is a self buff that helps her get to a proper part of the party again. Hook and slice. Can't even target that character. Confidence Hello. As the enemy crumbles. There's some damage. Rearrange, the, rearrange the party real quick. They can be beaten. Bonus move resistance minus one speed. I don't know if it's worth getting messing with your uh, party, like your turn order, for the sake of move resistance. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. The enemies rearranging your party just seems like a relatively unpredictable and infrequent occurrence. But what do I know? <laughs> In response to uh, me saying fuck books, chat's now saying fuck the book. Instructions unclear. Instructions all unclear. Dick stuck in book. I did not say that. I didn't say that trap, did I? Every time I get hit by a surprise trap, I'm always slightly unconvinced of like, was it an invisible trap or am I, or am I stupid? Because both are possible. Entirely. Hello, wretch. Oh, Wretch, less dead than, than originally hoping for. Um, we're relatively healthy, so I should probably get one of these guys to miss a turn. Oh! Or I could just waste it. That'd be cool, too. I like not using my turns well. Is this a good bleed? It is a good bleed. Nine bleed. It's decent, although I could also just melee her. No, I can't. That's the other attack that I don't have right now. Let's work on her for a bit. Hey guys, how you doing? Just gonna try to wear you down a little bit. Oh. Uneven application of debuffs has happened. Hey. Hey you, no. Okay, not a fan. Okay. She's gonna really benefit from getting one of those nice, uh armor bonuses once she levels up. <laughs> Alright. Well, I have bandages. That'll help. And this will... Th does it do anything to the enemy? Ooh, stun. Right. Stun chance is nice. Hey, you. You can just, like... St oh! Resisted stun. So much for that. Hey! They really like you. Damn. Okay, come on, man. You can't just all attack the same person every turn. <laughs> oh, that nasty vomit. Don't give me like don't give my character syphilis again. I, I just don't need that in my life. Alright, yeah, the da if they all target one character like that, I I can't keep up with the damage that's happening. Oh no, that also means that I can't keep up with the damage that's happening. Go figure, huh? Alright. Son of a bitch. I need this should be a 100% success rate, right? Yeah. Because it's like a 125% chance of stunning and he only had a 25% chance of resisting it, which means that it should not be able to be truly resisted. Hey, you. Stop living, please. Oh, no lucky crit there. I need to reduce the number of opponents. Throne dagger. Uh, poison darts is only usable, usable from back there. Bonus to dodge. You know what? I kind of need that to stop dying real quick. Just gonna take a step back real quick. There we go. Less successful or than I may have hoped. Hey, come on, man. Oh. The end approaches. I was specifically trying to rearrange the party to make that something else viable. Oh well. Uh, quick. Yeah. Quick bleed will mean that she's dead at the end of beginning of her next turn, so don't have to worry about her anymore. Hey. Not appreciating a lot of things going on right now. I bleed. This is a bad time to be talking about the pixies, sir. We need to survive. Alright. Just finish this guy off. One less opponent to deal with. Great is the Two less opponents to deal with. Shadow fade and throne dagger. Let's finish somebody off. There we go. If nothing else, the grave robber is freaking cool. Viability will be will be 
up in the air for a while, but it's just a cool character. Oh yeah, we can't hook and slice that character. I don't really want to spend turn moving either, so let's tr let's go for the stun. There we go. Oh, that's awkward. Look at you being out of range of my freaking leper. Oh man, rude. That's just a pr that's just annoying for me. I just had to go and get out of range. All right, corpse management engaged. Chat's disappointed by the lack of of abomination. There just there just literally hasn't been a, a uh, abomination or a houndmaster or a man at arms at the uh, carriage yet. Why did I just try to use stuns on a guy that has massive stun resistance? That was that was me making taking actions too quickly. I should be going for every attack that I can possibly do. Does this actually hurt? No, it doesn't. Does it? Damn. Oh, it does half damage. Yeah, right. And reduce dodge. Help guarantee some hits. Might as well. Try to just stop you from getting another attack at this point. Oh, there's the next attack. Attacking somebody covered in dodge, though, so it's not a big deal. And she gets the final blow! Capitalizing on that reduced dodge chance. Seize this momentum. She comes in, old oh, fist of the heaven end. style. There we go. Party rearranged. It's all gross looking, but isn't this thing usually helpful? I feel like this thing's usually helpful. Do I have holy water or anything? I don't think so. Let's give it a shot. Oh man. Dark altar with skulls prominently on display. The star of strange power can be felt from its presence. I'm sure we'll be fine. Hey, we're fine. Cool. Bonus damage accuracy and crit. That's... That's all good news. I probably should just be eating food. Because we've had a bad freaking time with that character. Hello, you. Looking at my items right here. Medicinal herbs. Bandages. Scrawlings. Was bandages good for this one? I don't... I'm uncertain on that one. I'm gonna move forward. When I'm uncertain, I'm just gonna move forward as opposed to uh, experimenting a little too hard with some of this stuff. We've had some uh, some book burning incidents in the past that I don't necessarily want to talk about so much. If I can avoid it. Wow. More empty rooms than I was expecting. Oh, and confirmation that we're gonna have another one here. Oh, my bad. I pressed up to disarm the trap as, uh, Jordy. There you go. Oh, hello. It's one way to keep his stress healthy. I could try to reduce stress with other characters that way, but the, uh... The chances are less ideal. Being not 90. Really? Am oh yeah, this is the one we knew was empty. One more r all right. Two battles to go. One on the way and one at the actual location. Um, maybe I should let the torch get a little lower. Get some nice crits coming from the party. Hey, friends! Stop being you. Oh. Damn it. The plan was- to, the plan really involved you having fewer hit points left afterwards. Oh well. That'll fix- that'll, that'll fix that up real nicely. And we should probably keep- yeah. Whoa! Okay. Sure. Death my inches. I'll take it. Why not? Oh! Quickly the tide that somewhat undoes the uh, fortune I had a second ago. <laughs> when he just casually does that right back to me. Ah. Really don't appreciate that, sir. I have to ask you to chill the fuck out for a turn. Hello. It's a little bit of a stress heal, but either way, these people are probably going to need to sit a turn out. They've had a bad time, you know? The victories mount. Getting ready to send so letters to some of these people's resistance. families. Alright. Coming up on the last fight, I'd rather not risk anyone's dying, so let's just go ahead and chow down a little bit. So that I won't be getting hungry again. Hey, friends! Guess who forgot to push the, uh, grave robber back a row? Hey, friends! Uh, gonna lunge anyway. 
Oh, the Acolyte. I don't, I'm not a fan of them. There we go. That preps them for a quick uh, hook, and, hook and slice kill. Not a lot of reason to heal right now, as opposed to just getting some of these characters out of here for a moment. Stun resists are identical. Which one of you is more dangerous? I feel like you're more dangerous. Oh, so much for that. We have fun here. All right. Jesus Christ. They play nice. All right. Um. Probably just want to wipe that one out so they don't get a turn at all. Deal with that real quick. All right. Chop, chop, motherfuckers. There we go. Damn. One hit point. Okay, that'll help. I'll take that. Do some th dagger throws to try to recover here. Okay, please don't kill my grave robber in, the, in their first run. <laughs> really appreciate if you didn't do that. This is how a life is taken. We d we desperately need some plus dodge items for our grave robber and some nice armor upgrades because dear lord this level one version is having a tough time uh finish this guy off there we go i probably should have meleeed the brawler actually no i'm gonna use intimidate though which does the same job all right uh for the love of god make her less dead cool glad we could participate here ow shit i forgot to use the bandage that's my mistake that thrown dagger is actually pretty reasonably strong, too. I'm a fan of that one. Try to finish him. Not quite there yet. Ah. Take him. Ah. Damn it. I was hoping for the for one damage. Ah, he's stunned. That means we're safe. Take that, corpse. Look at us getting loot. Triumphant pride precipitates. Ooh, Plague Doctor item. Fall. Disease resistance for the Plague Doctor. I'm seeing more items that are universally good than before. Ooh, bonus speed to move resist for the Grave Robber. It's a seconding... Oh. You're not allowed to have two of the same trinket on a hero. That is new. I used to do that all the time. I would totally grab two of the same trinket and stack them on the same character. Because oftentimes there was just an ideal trinket for each character, frankly. Movement resistance. All right, we're good to go. Throw in a quick key. Hidden compartment. Portrait, sp ooh, speedstone. That's good news. There are probably specific characters that benefit from a speedstone, like a grave robber, for example, actually. Uh, maybe I'll save that for a character that doesn't have any loot yet. There we go. Confidence is shaken. Confidence is shaken, but you know what? That's just healthy. That's part of how you grow. Get used to how doomed you are. How much red are we getting? Ooh, three of them. We lost that ratio. All right, Zach Hadron thinks they're poli they're possessed by demons. Fun. Jordy has bonuses against humans, which is pretty good for Bounty Hunter that already gets bonuses against humans, so that's just going to stack. Bate has... Religious visions and delusions. Fun. And Sozni has minus crit at low hit points. Which is not usually going to happen on the healer so much. Bonus accuracy and crit versus beast. Not... Eh. Bonus chance of hitting, I guess, when you're trying to do the stun. My obsession there we go. Great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. Let's go ahead and sort by level. All right. So fate and voice are tied down there at, at just now being rank one, but really the whole party is overall. So, due to stress issues, I'm gonna go ahead, especially freaking fate over there. Let's throw them into the tavern. Should I be upgrading one of these? No, let's before I do upgrade anything else, let's make sure. Go to blacksmith. Can I purchase? Ah, I need deeds. How about the guild? Where are we at? Training regimen reduced cost of training. It's portraits. It's actually probably better to reduce cost of of uh, stress relief at this point. Increased stress recovery for gambling and brothel. Portraits is uh yeah, 
I can manage those. All manner of diversion and dalliance All right. await those who cross the threshold with coin in hand. Let's take you to gambling and you to the brothel. Everyone else is doing okay. Have fun, guys. Bring the whole bottle and all that. All right, sweet. What do we get? Oh, two new classes. Grabbing them no matter what. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. All right, so we just got our first Hellion and our first Man at Arms. Let's see. Our next, our next Man at Arms name. Is actually Joe L. And the next Hellion name. Let's see here. We actually don't have another Hellion name, so I'm going from the general list. Is that spelled right? Yeah, Crookshank. Bam. I'm just picking at random at this point, point so congratulations! <laughs> This list is terrifyingly long. I did, not, I did not expect to see like 50 comments on the goddamn video when I looked at it. That was a... Uh, that, that was a time for me. Alright, so... 